you know this is one of those messages uh, which when i do i don't really know whom is going to really impact you know but i just have it in me to share this message okay so whoever it's meant for but uh, i believe that this message can just help everybody it's almost like when you're in a, at a church service and you're preaching isn't it you're preaching to a congregation so but then there are those who will receive it in truth and or indeed you know you find that it's really really talking to your situation so yeah let me just shoot and put this message out there okay and by the way hello everyone my name is ishmael and welcome to today's video and in today's video as you saw the title is very simple get ready to get ready hallelujah you must get ready to get ready okay okay i'm sure you're wondering what is this man talking about like what am, am i trying to say here i'm saying get ready to get ready and allow me to tell you that in every christian or in every person or in every situation in life you must get ready i'm sure you already know this isn't it you must get ready but here i'm talking about getting ready to get ready you know get ready to get ready if you don't get ready to get ready the problem is that's when most people they fail the test most of the time the trials you are bound to face trials there are many people today who are so depressed who are unforgiving you know who can't handle blessings when the lord begins to bless them why because they were never ready for those blessings and here in today's video i want somebody to overcome whatever comes in the way allow me to tell you that when you are not prepared a lot of things can happen you need to be prepared Solomon couldn't handle the temple at the end he was rebellious the son of King David he was rebellious and when you can see he was handed whatever he had he never had to fight if you can look at his father David David had to fight spend most of his years fighting until he became king he defeated the good giant Goliath you know he ran from Saul when he want, Saul wanted to kill him and and all but finally when he became king he knew how to handle everything so let me tell you that whenever you get things with ease without waiting for them that's why you are never ready that's why you don't know how to handle them that's why some people today they are with so much money they are successful but they don't realize they, they don't realize their riches and the blessings that the lord has put upon them why because they were not ready for what the lord has planned for them and allow me to tell you that you must also get ready because you need everyone need that to be ready for something great you need to be ready i don't know what it is but i just want you to get ready i want you for whatever you're praying for sometimes there will be challenges it will not always be easy you need to be prepared because you need to know where you are going and you must handle it it's always pointless to be blessed that's why today it's always pointless to be blessed only for the blessings to be, those blessings to be wasted that's why today you can give somebody money and they misspend or they misuse the money and you still give them more money they miss it's like giving a kid you give a kid a money to save and stuff but a kid would go and buy sweets toys and use less stuff you know and you'll be like why didn't you save the money you're gonna need it at school and all so the kid doesn't know the most or the major importance of money you also need to know how to handle the blessings that the lord gives you when the lord gives you a business that is going to sustain you for the for, for a lifetime you must know how to handle it or else it is eventually going to fail and when it fails it will go back to god why because you're going to go run back complaining to him he is your father he is your god he is your keeper he takes care of you so the lord wants to give us something which we're going to last when we have those things so you must be ready for it abraham had to get ready for the child it did not happen with ease most especially if i can give you an example with joseph he had to get ready he was promised that he's going to to to, to be successful but his success didn't come overnight he went through a lot those things as hard as they might it's just that sometimes we don't get to sit down and see the value i once gave an example i was like you know i couldn't understand why we we're given mathematics to solve when we're at school you know because i'm like if i want to be a medical doctor for example 
will I be writing meds to treat somebody? It didn't make sense. But eventually, now, recently, as I've grown, I began to realize, you know what? I think those mathematics things, they were there to help me, to help open up my mind, to think outside the box. That's why now you, it's easy to you to, for one, to come up with ideas, to think beyond in every situation in life, you know? Not necessarily when it's math related or ed education related, but also when it comes to other things, areas in life, okay? So that made me to realize the importance of mathematics. So that's the same thing with tribulations, trials. Those things are there to open up your brain, to open up you how to endure, to teach you patience, to wait upon the Lord, to know that the thing are going to work, to value what the Lord has given you. You need to get ready to get ready. When you say now you are getting ready or you want the blessing, get ready to be ready for that blessing. Hallelujah. Don't sit down and de be depressed, be stressing yourself, drinking yourself up, you know, getting drunk just because you're stressed. The fact that now you're drinking alcohol so that you're trying to escape your problems or somebody's doing so is because they don't know how to handle situations. That person is not ready for a blessing. That person is not ready to handle what the Lord brings into their life. That is why they are behaving in such a manner. So you need to be prepared. You need to handle trials very well. You need to be patient enough to wait. You need to be that Christian woman when the Lord says, wait, you wait. Move, you move. You praise God in the midst of a storm. Hallelujah. It's like that. You will go through a lot. Even Jesus, when he was on earth, before he could preach and all, the way had to be prepared for him by John the Baptist. And beside John the Baptist, he himself, as he was growing, remember, he would, he was, the Bible says he was growing in wisdom as a young boy. You know, he would go to the temple and all those things until a certain age where now he had even to, before he could minister, he went into a 40 days fasting where he was even tempted in the wilderness by the devil. That fasting was also for a preparation. The Son of God, God himself, he had to fast. He had to go pray. What was the need? It was preparation to get him ready. Without being ready, he knew he wouldn't handle what comes. So who are you to now feel like things will just happen like that, like that, like that, and you're not yet ready, you don't get prepared? If Jesus had so the necessity of being prepared and getting ready. So, allow me to conclude this message with get ready to get ready. Hallelujah. And yes, of course, that's all I had for today's video. Remember to check our brand new channel, The Gospel with Ishmael. The link is on the description of the video below. And if you enjoyed today's video, like it, share it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And be born again, okay? If you are backslidden, Rededicate your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ, invite him back into your heart and invite the Holy Spirit to come guide and lead you. And for prayer requests, spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email. The details are also in the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed. Amen.